Hello, I'm Darren and I'm here today in our fantastic training facility at Warrington for another instalment of Training Tuesday. To your assistant. On today's Training Tuesday, what we'll be doing is looking at a service strip down on our Baxi 600-800 combi range. First of all, we're obviously going to drain the boiler down, so we're going to isolate our flow and returns, drain all our pressure off, um, as we do want to check the expansion vessel during the service. Uh, make sure that our power supply is isolated and we've done our safe isolation checks. Okay, so let's get on with it. So first of all, we're going to disconnect all of our electrode and earth cables. Remove our air inlet tube, disconnect our fan connections, now we're on to our gas supply so we're going to remove our gas air inlet tube, you can disconnect it from the fan side if you want to. Preferably not, um, as there's a rubber seal in there. If you damage it, you might be in a bit of trouble. So always disconnect from the main gas valve joint. We're now gonna move on to removing the burner door cover. Remove the four 10 mil nuts. And we now should be able to remove our burner. Once removed, what we're going to now do is inspect our burner seal. So, what we're looking for here is no damage, no discolouring, and make sure that the seal's nice and flexible. If that's all okay, we should be able to reuse this seal. It's not a changeable item per service. We're going to pop the seal back in the burner door, make sure it's all nicely fitted, And then there's a double check. We'll turn the burner upside down just to make sure that seal doesn't fall out. Now we're going to inspect our burner. No cleanings required on this, just an inspection. And while we're here, we can check our electrodes. Remember, it's a four mil gap. Um, give them a clean and a check while you've got the burner off. We'll then move on to inspecting our heat exchanger. If there's any debris in there, we'll brush it. Once we've brushed it, we'll wash it out with um, just normal water into the condensed trap. If we've washed debris into the condensed trap, we'll then want to remove that trap to clean. And to do that, quite simple, all we do is remove the little retaining screw That holds a retaining bracket. There's the retaining bracket. And now we should be able to disconnect our condensed pipe and remove the condensed trap. Okay, so we can inspect and clean, wash the condensed trap out. Okay, so now we're gonna check our expansion vessel. To do that, we know we've got our system drained down because we know we can't check the expansion vessel with pressure in the system and we're going to check the expansion vessel via the Schrader valve which is nicely located on top of the boiler case and we're going to check that and it needs to be at one bar. If it needs topping up we're just going to top it up, if it's, uh, if it's okay we can leave it. Okay so we've finished our uh, service strip down and clean. A few key points now when we're uh, refitting all of the components we've just taken off um, and we'll go through that. So I'm ready now to pop the burner back in. I've inspected uh, all my burner and that's all okay. So we're popping the burner cover back on and refitting our 10 mil bolts and nuts. So a really important part of the refit procedure is to make sure we've got this burner door on securely. Uh, and secured in the correct order. So the way we do that is we replace all our 
10 mil nuts. We tighten them up finger tight and then we tighten them up with our spanner or our socket a quarter to half a turn but most importantly is we do it in a star shaped fashion so top to bottom bottom to top if we have got a torque spanner available we can torque it up to six to nine newton meters now a really key uh, and important part of the uh, the refit is the condensed pipe now You'll notice it's a concentric pipe, so you've got an inner and an outer tube. It's really important to make sure that inner tube is fitted correctly in the condensed trap. And to do that, we just lift the flap, visually make sure that that inner tube is correctly fitted, drop the flap down, and then connect over the securing tab. Okay, so we fit our gas connection pipe, reconnect our fan cables and finally we reconnect our electrode leads. And refit our air intake tube. So that was a really easy task to service a Baxi 600-800 combo.